Well, we're ready for another great outdoor project, and I gotta say, we got the perfect day for it. Great fence building weather, right, Andy? Absolutely perfect fence building weather, Justin. Okay, so uh, what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at an L-shaped fence. We're gonna go two panels in that direction, and one panel in that direction. Okay, now this is just gonna be a little bit of a privacy fence, so let me get a sense of it here. So we're coming 16 feet this way and eight feet this way. That's right, Justin, and we're starting the layout right at the corner. All right. So the first thing we'll do is drive a pin in the ground right at the corner. Okay. And then you'll take the pin and the hammer and the end of the string yep. down to the other end of the fence. This is where the fence is actually going to sit. This is where the fence is actually going to sit. Now you want to come uphill just a little bit. That's about right. And I would put that pin right in between your feet there. All right. With the 16-foot run laid out, it's time to square off the adjoining 8-foot, or L, section of the fence. This is easy to do using a Pythagorean triple, or what non-eggheads call a 3-4-5 triangle. For those who missed this day in math class, here's the gist. A triangle that has sides measuring 3-foot, 4-foot, and 5-foot creates a perfectly square 90-degree corner. For squaring up big areas like a fence layout, use a multiple of 3-4-5, like 6-8-10. Here's how to do it. From the corner, measure out six feet on the long run of fence, then measure out eight feet to approximate the short run. Hold a tape from the six foot mark and measure out 10 feet. Adjust so the 10 foot and eight foot points line up, automatically creating a perfectly square corner. Here's how it looked for us. Take this pin, okay. go down about six feet. Right there and drive that in on the line at six feet. All right. Okay, good. Hook your tape measure on there. And we want yours to measure 10 feet and mine to measure eight feet. Talking about the tape measures, right? The tape right? measures, yes. And that will give us a square corner. You wanna drive that in? I'll sure try. I got a secret for you though. What's that? I'm not left-handed. Oh, man. The first two strings in the layout represent where the fence will actually sit. But when it comes time to dig, these strings will be in the way. So we install a second set of offset strings three feet outside the layout. The offset strings stay up for the whole job, giving us a reference to measure from when needed. And before I just tie 40 knots in this thing, do we have any tricks here? Oh, sure. What you do is you loop it around, loop the string around the stake once, pull the long end taut, and then just wrap that around the shorter end. Oh, so there is no knot. No, no knot at all. Okay, what was that? Loop it around the stake, hold tension on the line, and wrap it over the shorter end. The last step in the layout is to mark the location of the post holes that will be set eight feet apart. Painting large X's beyond the size hole you're going to dig is a great way to target the locations because even as you dig and remove the center of the target, you'll still maintain a visual reference. All right, we've got our post locations marked out. And next is the fun part, digging. 